how important is the definition of marriage? Or how should we understand the definition of marriage? I would suggest that the definition of marriage isn't something we define, it's something we discover. And that I think is a proper, humble acknowledgement that when we come into this world, it's already furnished for us. It's furnished by those who came before us and those who came before them and those who came before them and ultimately all the way back to God who already created forms and structures in place so that civilization could be possible. And not every structure will be able to support civilization and, and empower it to grow and multiply and fulfill our divine directive to be fruitful, multiply and fill the earth. Not every attempt to redefine marriage does that. So strictly speaking, when I say marriage, I'm talking about marriage as it's been defined before anybody ever tried to redefine it. it, the marriage that we discovered. And when someone talks about gay marriage, that to me sounds like you're not talking about marriage. Now, I, I'm not trying to bash on people, I'm not trying to be harsh, uh, but whatever that union is called, if gay people want to get married, they can, but they don't want to because they're gay. <laughs> You're, if you prefer the same sex, you're, enti you're entirely welcome to marry someone of the opposite sex, settle down uh, and have kids. Uh, God bless you if you do. But if you want to be with someone of the same sex, that's not marriage. Now, this may sound like Christians kind of forcing their way on society, but I would contend that every culture throughout human history up until about five minutes ago, recognize that that was not just how God made it from the Abrahamic religions, but that's how nature ordained it. Because that's the kind of union that secures the female, protecting, providing, making sure she is emotionally and socially supported. It domesticates the male so he's not just a ruffian, and it rears children. And you can meet all of those traditionally and effectively in natural marriage or what's just called marriage. And we have yet to discover any other social institution that can compete in effectiveness with marriage. Now, I, I'm sure people are gonna keep trying, keep trying new experiments with ways to, to re-engineer society, but all of these social experiments are often forgetting what humankind really is and that we've come into a pre-furnished civilization that has a lot of this stuff designed for us, and if we wreck it, there might not be another one.